Sunday everyone and welcome back. Uh, Ryder and I are going to go over and check some cows real quick and take you guys with us. Uh, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you guys uh, for tagging along. We have hit a thousand subscribers um, way before I thought we would. Actually, we are close to 1500. Um, if we hit that today, I think maybe tomorrow I'll go live if I can figure that out. Get a tick, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> um, I will try to go live somewhere, whether it's here or on Facebook, and I would like to do some sort of giveaway to somebody because you guys have made this so much fun and so awesome to be part of. Um, when I started this journey, it was like, oh, I just want to show you guys what I do every day because I have some people that are like, what do you do all day? I mean, you, you're at home, but with the kids, right? I'm like, hmm, I'm home with the kids, but that's not exactly what I do. So I'm gonna climb over the fence and then we're gonna walk down and check this one cow that's left to calf and the cows are actually across the creek. So if it's down, I may just walk across there too. So let's go check some cows. He's like, come on, mom, hurry up. I wanna go see. He's looking. So I am gonna need to come over for somebody, whether it's me or Jason or whoever, come over and top this paddock off with the brush hog, just so that it, it can evenly grow out. Um, probably gonna be down there in the trees. And that's okay. I had somebody, and I can't remember who it was, and I apologize, said I do a lot of walking. I do, um, on average, anywhere from four to 10 miles a day, respectively, depending on what we're doing or where we're at. Um, you guys see me walk a lot from our house to the homestead. It's not quite a quarter of a mile in between there, and if I can walk, that's what I do. I should open like a Q&A question session where you guys can like leave questions and I'll try to answer them. I guess we could do that now. You guys can just drop them in the comments below what questions you have. And in the next video or the next few videos, I will try to discuss those. Um, I love reading all your all's comments and suggestions. I am working on adding a mic to my camera setup. Um, I've tried really hard to watch some of the um, audio. Uh, it's kind of hard though when I'm listening to it at home on my laptop versus what I hear it like when I go down to the shop and see it on the big screen. So I am working on that. I am going to crawl under the fence because it is hot and I don't, well, I guess I could go over. Some of the posts um, are taller than others, so you have to find one for my short little self. So we moved these cows here the other day, and this, they haven't ate it all down yet. You can see some of it is coming to head, so that's the brown parts you're seeing. Um, it is not dying off. There is plenty of green growth underneath. We are aching for some rain though. We could use some rain. We aren't able to put up poly posts right now because the ground's just so hard. So it kind of limits where we can go. I have some good grass pasture on the other side of this fence line. And then some down along this tree line that I really would like to utilize. But the ground is just so hard. Can't get my post in it without breaking the post. So this is kind of my my morning routine. Um, I'm the first one up, generally, unless Jason's got a hay delivery to go to. Um, but most of the time, I'm the first one up and going. And my morning starts with you guys. I run through social media. I try to answer questions or comments or whatever. I edit. I do some yoga stretching, and then I'm out the door. 
My door, my day generally starts between 4 and 5.30, depending on what time we roll in the night before. I am not a night owl, so it kind of sometimes hits me after three or four days of being out till 10 or 11. And of course, on top of that, I am a mom, I am a wife, I do not have a maid. Huh. Interesting. There's birds flying. I'll have to go over there and check that out. So they are all down here standing in the shade. Or what little bit of shade they had this morning, so. Come on, Ray. So these are teen, these guys here are our, what we call the spring herd. Uh, they started calving February, and I have one lonely cow out here that's still left to calve. Later. Come. I don't see her in the mix. Oh, bullet, you're fine. So there is a bull over here. So I always try to be mindful. Even though, yes, we walk through them and you... So I'm just gonna stand here and see if I can't let her just locate it for me. Cause she's walking that fence line pretty hard. And I know she's got it hidden because it's nowhere near where the afterbirth is. I'd say it's right where she's standing because she's pulling right up there. Because she ain't coming no further. And she's telling me She's giving me the tall signs of, hey, I have a baby, leave me alone. Which I'm gonna respect that. Been there, done that. <laughs> not to mention, I do have the puppy out here and it's not worth him not knowing what to do. Do you have your baby? Is it over there? Yep, it is. I see a shadow on the ground. And Bullet's talking to me, so uh, I'm just gonna leave her be for the time being. I'll come back and check them at lunch. Just make sure the baby's drinking and not dehydrated out here in the sun and whatnot. <whistles> Ryder! If you like today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, shoot me a comment. You guys can find me on social media on Facebook, Instagram, by locating Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife, and uh, reaching out that way. You guys can share the pages and the channel with all your friends and family, too. That helps me out. It makes me know that I'm still producing good quality that you guys like to enjoy. We have to stop and let Ryder get a drink. He's figured out the water tanks, <laughs> which are just tire tanks. Uh, we ran water lines up and around from the pond and it's flowing. We have the float in there and we can turn them off and turn them on if we need to. They are low enough that 
the calves can drink out of as well. Um, each tire tank can be easily split down for paddock wise. So you always have water. Our, our paddocks are designed to be able to do that as a pie shape with the poly wire. So we could run poly wire up. Obviously this is poly wire that split this paddock. Um, but we always incorporate the tank as much as possible, um, giving them a full view of it. Um, He looks real good. Good job, Mama. I know, you're super protective. All right, Jason, I'm gonna start walking that way. Grab her.
Well, this can't be good. Ready? There you go. There you go. Are you sure? Back up and uh, I'll uh, try to. Well, we'll see if this spring holds. Cross our fingers. We hope it does. I'm not really driving. 
drove the new tractor, like, not on my own, like, lived through the field on my own type thing. So, really trying not to break anything in here, or out there. Um, my levers are all backwards, so I'm skipping and have to go back, and the field looks like a toddler is coloring in it, so I'm sure he's really going to love that because they're not perfect straight rows. they got some curves going on. Uh, the tractor ride's nice. It's nice and cool in here. Uh, it's just backwards. Let him get him. Send him in there. See what he does. Get him. Go. Down. Good boy. Come. Come. Ryder. Come. Come here. Come here. Good boy. So we are going to put out another bag of Perino wind and rain. This is our fall calving herd, so it's Thanks. very important to keep salt, mineral in for these girls. Heads up, Jason. Hi, Faithers. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hi. Cow. Is that eight right there? Yes. Hello, ladies. Hi, beautifuls. Are you hungry? Day 14. Oh, okay. Like fertilizer spreader. <laughs> uh -oh. Where's he at? I don't want to get ran over. Is he coming? Uh, I may need to bring another bag down tomorrow. Probably two bags. Mm-hmm. Because they're needing it. He's happy with that cobalt, though, Jason. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Cobalt and surfer. But those ladies want that other mineral because they're getting ready to calve. They're a stockpile it. Mm-hmm. She is big. But she pertains... I mean, you gotta realize. Oh, yeah, you need your tag. I'll have to bring her in and give her a new one. Means I'll have to get some red tags, huh? Yeah, just give her a yellow one. So yeah, I can do a yellow one. That's fine. R on it for register or something. Put a star or something. Did you see Faith come up and lick me? chase Leonard around. He's Lucy's baby. He's right there. That's kind of what we do.
and just kind of walk the herd and make sure everybody's doing okay. I know. I was gonna say, that's Stitch. Is she back there with the hump? That's 40. Rosie has given us three. Three. But that's, that's her walking, right there, right in front of you. I see her. And she's not bony. Mm -mm. And I thought she was gonna be called out at one time, remember? 25 might be the only other one that I would think might need to go. As of right now. As of right now. As of right now, because everybody's maintaining. I'd say 25, but the next one is going to be not close. Three, are you being spoiled? Come here, Ryder. So these are our spring calving girls. Um, we, this is the group where 18 came from that we took to the vet the other day. This is where that last calf was born this morning. Jason's out looking for it. And I am simply just enjoying the night. We did get down 40 acres of mixed grass, even though my mower went down. So that'll be a trip to Seidenstricker for parts this week. Oh, I got more hay to lay down. Jason thinks seems to think we might be able to uh, bail that tomorrow, but we'll see. It's getting too dark, you guys might not be able to see much more. But this is how I start my day and how I end it. And I couldn't be more thankful and blessed. Thanks for tagging along, hitting subscribe, and sharing with all your friends. We'll see you guys probably tomorrow or the next few days.